What's the news around the harem? This whole joint is harem scarum. This is getting too confusing. Speak up, girls, this ain't amusing. Dick. And now the Latin news with Anne Boleyn in the tower. B. Martin pouring a whiskey sour. Bees buzzing from flower to flower. And I can go on like this for another hour. And now here's Dan and Dick. First, these news headlines. Beautiful princess chokes to death when frog in her throat turns into prince. <laughs> MGM making an all-black version of Gone with the Wind. Flip Wilson to play Scarlett O'Hara. <laughs> Ralph Nader recalls Vicky Carr. And now, because we can't avoid it, here's tonight's news of the present with Dick. Well, another case of mistaken syndicate hit was revealed today when it became known that six months ago, the mob accidentally threw Jacques Cousteau into the East River. Tragedy was averted, however, when Mr. Cousteau built a house at the bottom and was lived there ever since. Wrote a few books. New York City going along with the trend established at the Democratic Convention when women's lib insisted on the presiding female officer being referred to as chairperson, the governor of New York announced today that from now on he shall be known as Nelson Rockaperson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and now here's Dan with something or other. That's the news of the future 50 years from now. Fashion designers have decreed that the unisex look in clothes is a fashion must for everyone. This year, both men and women will dress exactly alike. The men say they don't like it because they can't tell what they're following until they bump into it. <laughs> then it's too late. Yes. <laughs> or too early is the case. <laughs> News of the future 20 years from now, Washington, D.C. Today, the president signed into law the legalization of marijuana. Congress immediately celebrated by having a joint session. <laughs> Can you dig it? And now let's take two aspirin. 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 And go to Dr. Martha Welby with the medical news. The American Medical Association today announced that a Dr. Stephen Spears has discovered a fantastic new youth serum. Dr. Spears, however, could not be reached to confirm or deny this report, as it was time for him to go nighty-night. Hey, let's go to the nether regions for another news item from hell. Hell's bells! Rents were due today, and all across hell there has been the devil to pay. Get it? Ah, you see, these jokes are part of the punishment. <laughs> now let's make the scene with Heavy Helen. Say, hey, it's Heavy Helen making the scene like, I mean, like, wow. <laughs> I mean, like, too much, you know? I mean, like, 30 of us, like, formed a commune, and, like, we share the food, and, like, we share the work, and, like, I find I eat good, and I don't work too hard, and I like everybody like there. I mean, in fact, I never met 29 nicer guys. <laughs> I mean, like, oh, I'm, like, heavy, really heavy. <laughs> Now look at our star border between China and Russia. You know, I can't wait for my summer vacation. Oh? Or when is that? <laughs> well, I don't know. I, I never had a summer. Oh, well, you know, they recently took survey of Chinese people to ask opinions of yeah. birth control. Ah, what were the results? Well, I'll tell you, 20 million people were against it. Mm -hmm. And 780 million people were for it. That's very dull. Get in the box. Three were on the side. <laughs> <laughs> Want to take a look at the senior citizen news? Well, you can't help it, because here it is. Oh, look at the later. <laughs> what light? Where? Oh. Ah! Oh! Yes, there's old news tonight. Mrs. Bertha Fenwick and Mr. John Bodkin have announced their intention of marriage. Mrs. Fenwick is 78, and Mr. Botkin, bless him, is 81. Now, the wedding reception will be celebrated at a Holiday Inn, where the bride and the groom will try and remember what holiday they're, they're celebrating. 
<laughs> and now to our foreign bureaus overseas. Well, where else would you find a foreign bureau but overseas? I have a foreign bureau in my bedroom. I'm not surprised. I have a strange-looking sofa in my den. You're a strange-looking... All right. First to the island of Borneo. We are here in the island of Borneo talking to the Minister of Economy. Sir, can you tell us something about the island's economy? Yes, our economy is very primitive compared to yours. We do not even use money. Instead of money, we use water buffaloes. We pay for what we buy with water buffaloes. But then there's very little trading done here. Oh, well, why is that? Well, because it's so hard to make change. <laughs> now to a karate school in Japan. I'm here in Japan with the world's greatest woman karate expert. Now, uh... Certainly. Now, tell me, what is the most important thing uh, in karate? The most important thing in karate is the eyes. Uh, I'm, I'm afraid I don't understand. Uh... I will demonstrate. Ah, I see. Now, close your eyes. Okay. Uh, okay, close my eyes. Ah! Oh! <laughs> You must always keep them open. Oh, you got it. Now, hold on. Excuse me, Bucko. All the top of the Christmas evening news to you. And it's an exciting Christmas evening. Sharon O'Sullivan beat up her husband for kissing Bertie Kelly under the mistletoe. She said it wasn't the kiss, and I mind it. But they were doing it three miles outside Dublin in the Leprechaun Hoopy Motel. On the 4th of July, here's a cheery note oh, in I'd the like news. To, I'd like to hear A it. cheery note. Since the wake of Patty O'Connell happened to fall in the midst of the Christmas season, God rest his the soul. mourners decided to stand the casket up in the corner and decorate it in keeping with the season. Whatever do you mean? Well, now, Mrs. O'Connell said it warmed the cockles of her heart to see dear Patty in death as he was in life. Lit up like a Christmas tree. Oh, <laughs> and that's the news tonight. Don't forget, it's National Hostility Week. Punch a friend for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>